This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location from ITW 2018 in the windy city of Chicago, Illinois. And I am here with, with Mr., and pardon me if I don't get this right on the first try, Mr. Um, Robert Ravindran. Mahalingam. You got that right. Uh, outstanding. Outstanding. And Ravi is the SVP of International Business for HGC. Ravi, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you for having me. You bet. You bet. And we are going to talk about something that uh, is on the top of a lot of people's minds right now, blockchain. Uh, Ravi is here to discuss uh, blockchain in the telecom industry. Blockchain is currently one of the most talked about technologies uh, across industries, organizations, are exploring blockchain's potential impact in their space and how they can benefit from this emerging technology. The communication service provider industry is no exception. All right, so our first question for you, Ravi, is blockchain and specifically its benefits in the telecommunications industry. Tell us a little bit more about that. Okay, so as you know, blockchain, uh, I think it became famous because of cryptocurrency mm -hmm. and that's how blockchain now has become on the front, front line. But blockchain itself, as a technology, has been around for about 30 years. I did not know that, Ravi. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's been around for that long. But it took cryptocurrency to make it to become popular. Mm -hmm. But I have to let you know that the cryptocurrency and the blockchains are two different separate technologies. But because of the smart ledgering and also the um, trust capability of the blockchain, it became the most, uh, how shall I say, the best way to do the uh, 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 smart currencies or the cryptocurrencies. So now everybody talks about blockchain. Blockchain in insurance, blockchain, blockchain in finance, and blockchain in telecoms. So there's been two streams um, uh, the, the industry has been exploring. One is on the retail side. Mm -hmm. But this exploration is not easy because you have to uh, face with the real world situation as in finance, money laundering, and a host of issues. Mm -hmm. But blockchain seem to be making uh, more track in the backend side of the industry, which is more about cost saving, more about efficiency, uh, and and trying to create um, a, a new ecosystem that would uh, make it more efficient and create more automation. So that is where I think the opportunity lies in this side uh, for the telecoms industry, I would say. I'm so glad we're having this conversation because, quite honestly, that has been a point of confusion for me. So thank you for that, Ravi. I'm glad to provide that revelation. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Thank you very much, Ravi. So uh, question number two, what are uh, the challenges and how companies can mitigate the, uh, the challenges of the application to ensure um, you know, successful implementation? Well, I think to begin with um, is the overall mindset and the acceptance of this as a kind of a way to improve uh, business and also efficiency and profitability. So, you know, in the industry, telecoms industry, while it's the most uh, fast-paced industry, it also is consisting of human beings in the organization who take time to actually accept changes. So the first uh, challenge is how to make that uh, change uh, mm -hmm. in the organization to accept that this is a new way to do it and you may need to rewrite how we do uh, 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 the, 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 the handshake between two parties using smart ledger as a method instead of you know, uh, other current means. So this is one challenge. The second challenge is, of course, is between still between the real world and the uh, virtual world. So in the in the virtual world where we can do automation, we can exchange contracts, there is trust, but you still have an element where when you want to do your settlement, uh, where you have hard currencies, uh, where you need to do with the uh, legal uh, related uh, matters. Mm -hmm. So these are challenges that you now have to face. So that sometimes is just as hard as uh, trying to do automation within the industry. So I would say the legal side and also on the finance side. Ravi, thank you very much. So let's talk about potential. Uh, what is the potential for blockchain and specifically, you know, how, how are folks gonna monetize this? Well, I would say um, uh, in terms of, okay, there's two elements. Uh, one is about how do we make money from this platform? Mm -hmm. And the other one is how we can make use of the platform to actually do business efficiency and improvement. So that is one side which is very important. Mm -hmm. But how can you make money or monetize it? I, I believe um, this ecosystem in the wholesale industry of telecommunication is far wide ranging. Mm -hmm. 
at the moment, we are only at the tip of the uh, iceberg of looking at one stream. Could be voice, but it can also be expanded to roaming. It can be expanded to uh, telecommunication into the corporate side of mm -hmm. uh, interconnects. Mm -hmm. So I believe the monetizing aspect of it uh, is still not really fully explored, but it's quite wide ranging. But let's talk about expectations. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. obviously, yeah. you probably you have expectations for yourself. You have expectations in your role with the company. Yeah. Um, let's talk about what those expectations are. Where, where yeah. do you where do you see things going? Yeah. So I I am a firm believer of um, uh, that we should adapt and change uh, for the new, and mm -hmm. also keeping our step one or two steps ahead of the curve. So I would like to uh, you know mold the organization and motivate the team to be able to see the next phase and prepare ourselves. Mm -hmm. So this is not easy, it takes time, but uh, I believe with a lot of communication and also commitment, uh, this can be achieved. So so that is one. On the other aspect of it, in terms of um, uh, uh, where do we want to see, or where do I see myself, mm -hmm. I would like to take international business uh, as a, a wide-ranging uh, service uh, provider of not only for you know the usual carrier-to-carrier -carrier business, sure. but also all across board, a platform that would able or enable uh, companies to uh, you know reach out to where we our core competencies have always been is to the emerging market. Uh -huh. This is our expertise, and these are markets which are difficult. The more difficult these markets are, these are the markets that we go to and provide these solutions for other carriers and other corporate customers and other OTTs. So we hope to make this better and, um, and get some success out of it. You know, I have a feeling that you're going to be very success successful. This is a pleasure talking with you today, yeah. Robbie. We, we, we appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me, and uh, all the best to, to JSA TV. Oh, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Thank and thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.